อนนี้เอาว่าไม่คุยดีสไนน์อ o ลอาร์ดไดรเวอร์ดิดเวลอิทุกบาร์ลีอินอาร์ดจะเกิดที่นี่ของลอซานแต่เราต้องจบการคุยในการธุรกิจในหนึ่งชั่วโมงบุกสามารถจดรถไปที่ห้าโมงเย็นได้แค่หนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่งชั่วโมงหนึ่ง Mr. Poirot. For what, Mademoiselle? For trusting me. Oh, I didn't put on my mustache. Oh, we're at the bank. No, I didn't, Zashi. It looked weird. I feel like it would be weird to try to put on my face. <laughs> oh, welcome back, boy. Oh. <gasps> See, I'm playing as her, so Help I can't. Yourself, Joanna. You earned it. Oh my God, that scared me for a second. Hello, hello, lady. Oh, oh, Bluffy. You there? I have an appointment with Mr. Wadi. Let me check. You there? I'm sorry, I don't see any appointments this morning at all. Mr. Wadi hasn't even arrived yet, although he should be here by now. No, don't tell her who I am. Even I though your customers are anonymous, considering the amount of money involved, you should still have a mention of a meeting. Yes, I can't understand <laughs> it. I'll be sure to ask Mr. Wadi when he arrives. In the meantime, you are more than welcome to wait in his office. Okay. I see you're not disturbed. Please follow me. Oh yes. <gasps> oh. So I can I can check out his room. Hello. Where, where are we? Where are we going, lady? Here. 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 Oh. Here we go. Is this his office? Is this is this it? Can I go in? Oh. I can't understand where Mr. <laughs> Wadi might be. Yes, yes. Right. Leave me alone in the room. I don't have much time at all. Okay, I entered his office. Examined his office. Oh, okay. Oh, there's six things to find. Search for what we need to gain access to Ratchet's safety deposit box. Okay, okay. His name is Ratchet. The guy's name is Ratchet. Thank you, Frankie. Thank you for the alert. Mm, it's closed. Oh. Oh. That this is Mr. Wadi. Oh. Oh. Eagle vision. Al. Iraq. I'm taking a picture of it. I'll send it to Poirot. It might be useful to him. Ah. Okay. I need the password. Maybe Poirot can help me. Locked. Oh. Oh, cannot. How? Oh, everything else cannot. Alice in Wonderland again. Mr. Wadi seems to have really liked this book. I was gonna say I'm not gonna read the book. Then I see two, three. Oh, this must be something. Two, three, three, four. Nine. 
Two, three, three, four, nine. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. I'm gonna type it. Two, three, three, four, nine. Six. Two. Two, three, three, four, nine, six. Should I like write these things somewhere? Okay. I need a pen. <laughs> you guys have a pen? Outside. You know what? I'll just use my phone. <laughs> okay. Wait, I forgot. Two, three, three, four, nine. Nine. Six. Two. There's nothing here. Six, two, okay. Maybe that's the password? That's not helping, Shaya. <laughs> oh, wait, there's letters though. Two, three, three, four, nine, six, zero. <gasps> SpongeBob is the Alice in Wonderland for. Oh my god. SpongeBob. No. Didn't work. Oh, oops. What is this a password for? Oh, what's this? A souvenir tower of Babel. Babel. Oh, makes sense. We know that Mr. Wadi is from Iraq, and the ancient tower is said to have been built there. What? Oh. Call Mr. Poirot, but I have no idea how to. How do you solve this? Wait, okay, I will call Mr. Poirot. Time is running out. I to call Mr. Poirot. Hopefully, you found something at Mr. Wadi's apartment. Apartment that will help me in my search for oh Call. I managed to get into Wadi's office. I did a quick preliminary search. Everything is locked, including his computer. All I could find was a photo with a date on it. I just sent it to you. Maybe you can use it. Thank you. That might help. I've just arrived at the apartment. I'll call you when I find something. As quick as you can. Everything I can't stay here long. Oh. Oh, but I think I'm close to the end, though. I think I'm close to the end. Hi, <laughs> Shua. This is oh. definitely not, oh, that's not his name. His apartment. Ah, this one. Ah, here we are. Oh. Let's see if the key I picked up in Monsieur Wadi's luggage in Venice will open his door. Time for moustache. Oh, wait. Let me put on the moustache. Hey, 
1983. Oh, this is itchy. <laughs> My nose is itchy. How do you guys have moustache? It's so itchy. <laughs> Great. Oh no, this is supposed to be now, like 2023. You see? Itchy eh? My nose already, I just put on and my nose already itchy. Okay. Oh, this is Mr. Mr. Aziz's home. <laughs> Another golden moustache to treasure. Search me to wear this outfit. Oh. A dart. A familiar projectile found in any pub in England. Now I have the power. Oh. Hmm. I have a full beard, you just get used to it. It's not itchy when you take care of them. Oh. Oh. Alice in Wonderland again. Oh. Three, three. What happened to the pages? Nine. Wait. Six. Huh. It's like not not all the pages are there. Someone spilled their coffee. Yeah. Or waterlogged, maybe, I don't know. Oh, what's this? Meet me in Venice on December 18 at 10 p.m. Confirm the appointment by sending me a postcard with the meeting place. Bring me 50 bundles. They tell in passport and the red glasses. As usual, I have changed the passcode. The new one is... Look in the old edition of 1965 and pages... 1865? Oh! Is that the previous one? That she had? Okay, hang on. 88, 91, 94... 80 oh page 88 91 94 96 88 okay three you guys help me three <laughs> 88 and then 91 crap can i go back oh i can go back to her i can go back to her. i can go back to her I'll ask her. Hello, lady. Mademoiselle Locke, how far along are you? Still not very far, but I'm not giving up. Okay, look at the book. Where's the book? Here. Mm. Three. Page 91, 4. Nine. There's nothing here. Three, four, nine. Zero. There's nothing here. Zero. Three, four, nine, zero, zero. Oh, hi, Asian Forest. Hang on. Orin's eating my head now. Okay. <laughs> Three, 
फोर नाइन थ्री फोर नाइन बिकॉज दिस इज नथिंग ऑन पेज नाइनटी सिक्स एंड नाइनटी एट Mr. Poirot, how are you doing? I have little to report, but keep looking. Okay. Maybe there's something here. Yeah, it's nine ninety. Six. Ah, uh, six. Nothing here. Zero six. So what was that? What was that for? Let me double check this real quick. Hmm. This computer won't give up its secrets easily. Hmm. Hmm. I think this belongs here. What did I just do? I can't move it. Oh, put this back. Oh, I, I don't know what to do with this yet. Should I open the door? I'm just gonna look. Was it the guy in the picture? Who are you? Oh. What are you doing in there? I am Hercule Poirot. I am working with the police. You <gasps> are Monsieur Wadi's neighbor. Uh, yes, next door. I heard oh, a noise. Nervous. I thought it was Mr. Wadi who had come home. I don't know him very well. A delivery man left a package for him with me. He's lying. I live next door. Maybe he does. I heard a noise. I thought it was Mr. Wadi who had come home. I don't know him very well. He looks, he really does look like the guy in the picture. Wait, hang on. This one? You don't know your oh. neighbor very well. Yes, what of it? <gasps> Office photo frame. How is it that Monsieur Wadi has a picture of you on his desk? There is quite a family resemblance. You wouldn't be his brother by any chance. Why are you going through his things? As I told you, I am working with the police. All right, yes. The police. And his brother, oh. Mediwadi. Do you know where he is? Oh, he doesn't I know. I am very sorry, sir, but I have some terrible news for you. Your brother has been murdered. You have my sincere condolences. Oh. Oh, no. Aziz. Oh, no. My wife, my son, their hearts will break. Everything he did was for his family. He brought us here from Iraq to give my son a better future. We can't go back. He oh, won't. dude, his teeth he looks Do not fret, scary. Monsieur Wadi. I do not want to cause trouble for you and your family. I am here to catch his murderer. When did you last see your brother? <laughs> Two days ago. He was on his way to Venice. It was mm. not a journey he was looking forward to. 
I knew something was wrong, but he promised all would be well soon. My son will be heartbroken. Aziz made the point of reading to Fadi every night so he could learn English. We hope to legally oh. emigrate there one day. Your son, Fadi. What did Monsieur Wadi read to him? His favorite book Alice is Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland. <laughs> the nonsense of it all. <laughs> Why? It is the answer to a question I had. I believe your brother was a good man, forced for some reason to keep secrets, and that got him killed. Sir, there is something else. Aziz left me a letter to open if anything should happen to him. Could you show it to me? Yes, mm -hmm. I, I will get it. Oh, he really does live next door? Okay. Brother, a man named Ratchet found me at the bank. He threatened to kill you and your family to force me to do illegal things. Maybe if I die violently, this man will be responsible. Send an anonymous message to the police. Tell them of his safety deposit box in the bank do lack. His bank account number is 82664. They will know what to do. Goodbye, my brother. Give my love to Aisha and Fadi. I will give I wish you all a good life. Aw. Wait, bank account number 826. Oh, this this is a lot of things to remember. <laughs> mm, it all makes sense. It's horrific. But to Ratchet, it would be just business as usual. At least I have Ratchet's account number, 82664. Thank you, Mad Mom. Thank you for giving me this letter. Let me assure you, the man Ratchet cannot harm you. He was killed before your brother was. Really? Who did it? The one you say hunted Ratchet? Yes, without a doubt. I promise you, I will find mm. them. Sir, we have no papers. The police... Your secret is safe with me, monsieur. Oh, Thank they're you. illegal Thank immigrants. You, now, I must go to my wife and son. Tonight, I will read to Fadi from Alice in Wonderland. And we will remember my brother. I need I to know. notify Mademoiselle Locke that I have Ratchet's bank account number. Oh, yes. Just like a police line now. Oh. Hello? Hello, police? I texted Ratchet's account number to you. Wonderful. Wait. But I need the computer. Is this gonna work? I need the computer password first. I need the computer password first, so I gotta go back. Mr. Poirot, how are you doing? I have little to report, but keep looking. Oh, I was looking at... I was looking at this. Hmm, a bizarre endgame to be sure, but I suspect checkmate is possible for white in three moves. Let's see. Oh. <clears throat> mm. How do I move it? To do chess. Dun, dun. Hi, Obi. Uh. Oh. Okay. Choose the right move to me. Okay. Oh. 
Oh no. It is? <laughs> it's thicker. It's... Well done. Oh. Can eat the, the king, ma. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh, I'm stuck. I didn't go inside here. Oh. Staring at the clock won't help, Wow. Okay, okay. Oh. Hmm, this could be the password to Monsieur oh. Wadi's office computer. He must change it every month. Oh. It seems to have a logical sequence, but I need to find the one for December. Can I inspect June three seven nine five six four eight zero one seven five nine? This is nine, right? Nine six nine. Let's do it this way. One, two, three, four, three. Why is it so small? Wait, okay. I think that's a pattern. It looks, see? Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Zero, one, two, three. Seven, eight, nine. Zero, one, and then five. Is it? I'm guessing six, one, nine, three. I do not think that's the right answer. Is it five? One, two, three. No. Zero, one, two, no, three. Six is close. Leah, five. Wait up. So zero one two three seven eight nine zero one then this one I'm guessing is up here because this is five so next one is six ah no
This you. This is wrong, but I'm never far from the truth. Let me think. It just wants me to pick the numbers first. Did I try nine? I must admit I'm not right this time. Mm. Five? Oh, is it because of that? Five one nine three. If that's oh, the okay, okay. To the computer in Monsieur Wadi's office, we still need to translate the Arabic characters. Okay. And there weren't any Arabic characters on the office computer's keyboard. I wonder if the computer in Monsieur Wadi's office has a similar Arabic keyboard. That's the right answer. Was it five one nine three? <laughs> should I tell her? I should tell her. Oh, Miss Love. Thank you, Soria. Mademoiselle Locke, how far along are you? Still not very far, but I'm not giving up. Five. Oh no! Five one. No, because there's the. I don't think that's it. Does the keyboard have Arabic? Doesn't look like it does. Hmm. I don't think there's anything yeah, I can find closed. here yet. You know what? Go back, go back. I want to check the house again. No, Shario! Stop it! <laughs> Mr. Poirot, how are you doing? I have little to report, but keep looking. Okay. Uh... Is it on the computer outside? This one have or not? Oh, have! Hmm, this computer won't give up its secrets easily. This keyboard should help me translate mm. this code. Okay, uh... Cough? Shin. Shin. Ha. Ha. Ba. Ba. Wait, ba is F. Sa. Arabic is read ah. from right to left, so the password must surely be read that way too. <laughs> With any luck, this will unlock the computer in Monsieur. Oh, Wadi's backwards. Office. Let me text it to Miss Locke. My little gray cells did not let me down. I can read Arabic letters, yes. 
I can't write my name in Arabic. Uh, wait, what was it? I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Did I text her? Should I? Miss Lock. Did oh, you yeah. receive my text? This must be the password to Monsieur Wadi's computer. I have it. Thank you. No, I just learned to write with a pencil. Uh... Oh my god, what is it? What is it? E. Did he text me? <laughs> Did he text me what it was? What the heck is this? Dude, I forgot what it was. E. Tree. E. Tree. Uh. F. Nine. P. One. Uh. Thank you, Grizzle. A five R. <gasps> Dang, what was the account number? Eight two six. Oh, good thing I wrote it down. Two eight two six six four. <gasps> da -da -da. The number of Ratchet safety deposit box. At last, I should let Mr. Poirot know. Four three four six. Safe number. Four three four six. Okay. Let Mr. Paul go. No, let him know. Hello. I was able to access Mr. Wadi's computer. I have Ratchet's safety deposit box number. Excellent. Excellent. Zero bell. Yeah. Maybe it's not money, maybe it's things. Gold bars, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, how do I do this? I don't know, maybe there's more... Is this the pyramid? Tower of Babel. That may be useful to Mademoiselle Locke or me. I'll take a photo. Oh. Is this for the tower puzzle? Nothing in the com. Yeah, maybe there's something. I don't know. I mean, he took so much money from them. I don't know yet. Hmm. Staring at the clock won't help. Wow. Oh, wait, is this? Uh... Should I take a screenshot? Take screenshot. Let me see. Oh, we're at the bank now. We're trying to open Mr. Aziz Wadi's uh, safe deposit box. So we found now that the guy who got murdered in Venice. He's not a willing participant. I'm wondering if this is related to the chessboard. Because there's black and there's white.
A H Oh no Oh oh A H B seven B seven A seven A seven A six six D A D D Oh my god, the black and white is messing up with my eyes. <laughs> D five. Oh. No. I thought it was related. The dark is also it, like the chair. The colors. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, oops. Oh, you're right. The colors probably. Oh, I see. This is dark. Okay, 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 okay. Gotcha. I get it. This is dark, dark. This is light, white. Right? I put back, put back, put back. Mm. Okay. So. A8 black pawn. A8. A, uh, A7. A. Oh. A7. B seven B seven okay and then the white pieces A six A six uh D D eight D five Oh, that's E. Oh! <gasps> Hello. Oh no! Is this one of... I have to see what was the number. I wrote so many numbers, you guys. Is it... Oh! I don't know. Three, four, nine, six... Eh, no? Oh, no, no. Uh, cancel, cancel. How to cancel? Two, three, three. It's the pages from the book, I think. Four, nine, six, two. No, it's not. to aim for the uh, just to open the ball huh none of the numbers that i got work again two three three four nine these were the numbers that i got from the book i guess that's not it office tower puzzle good morning nice office day for fishing ain't it <laughs> <laughs> hi drew if you get it wrong, you explode. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, never mind. Call her and tell her. Ah, the peculiar habit some people have of displaying things on the door of their refrigerator. I've just sent a photo to you in case it might help you. Thank you. Can I see the photo? Where's the photo? 
Here? Oh, this? What's that got to do with this? I know there's the picture of the tower there. This one? I have a screenshot. I took a screenshot of the fridge. Is it the magnet? I have seen the photo. Yeah, I took a screenshot of the picture. Is it the magnet? Hang on. Uh... Hey, yeah, la, they have the same shape. Okay, now I can close this screenshot. Uh, open. Oh. Oh, take lah. Why? Never take. Uh. A key. A key. I wonder if it will fit the desk drawer. Oh, desk drawer. Mr. Wiley's desk key. This one? Oh. Pencil. Yeah, that was a plane. <laughs> indentations are from the sheet of the notepad that was on oh my god can i like sheet it all those mystery movies i watched as a kid i know what to do do i sheet it can i sheet it? oh my gosh ah <laughs> i sheet everything i don't need to but what's this sheet i'll send a picture of this to poirot And then what? Send to Paolo? Call Paolo? I sent you a photo of doodles I found on a notepad. I hope it can help you. I hope so as well. Doodles. I sent doodle pic to Paolo. <laughs> Hello, cartoon. What do I do with it? Are there other ones? Hehehe, <laughs> any remembers? Tee hee. Do you guys want me to send you doodles? Doodle pics? <laughs> Doodleys? <laughs> if you guys, if you're wondering why I'm giggling at doodles, it's it's a it's an Australian slang that I learned a few months ago. <laughs> Wait, so what do I do with it? M M C Is that a clue for this? M C <gasps> <laughs> Oh 
Really? <laughs> that was actually the thing. Oh my gosh. Oh. What this? It looks like a safe Bank Dula. We finally found it. Oh. Oh, we got the safe key now, so. Oh, such mine. Oh, still got one more thing. I still have to find one more thing. Oh, we Ratchet's account number. Oh, the numbers are here. It's right here. What am I missing? I'm missing one thing. Uh, we went to we went to the bathroom. Mm. We did go to the bathroom. We found a moustache. I will check. It's here. The key to the password is close. I can feel it. The key oh, to the password. Oh, I just is have close. to click on it. I can feel it. T eighty eight ninety one ninety four ninety six ninety eight. I did. I forgot to click on it. Ah yeah. Enter Ratchet's code. Four three four six. Oh no no. Uh. Oh crap. Three four. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Three. Three. This was the one from earlier. Was it nine two or nine two four six? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's from the book. It's from the book. Oops. Okay, she has the book. Yeah, that was three. Man, was a lock. How far along are you? Still not very far, but I'm not giving up. Okay, look at the book, lady. I have to pick five numbers from page 88, 91, 94, 96, 98. Okay. So uh, 88 is 3. 91 is 4. 94. 9. So 349. You were right. 96 has no number. 98 also has no number. 34900? Zero, zero. Oh, the old had a 6. That's true, that's true. 6. So 3496. Okay, go back, go back. 3496. Last year. Mr. Poirot, how are you doing? I have little to report, but keep looking. Is zero. Zero? Oh. Okay. 
Oh, I'm doing another activity? Hiya. 3, 4, 9, 6, 0? This is wrong, but I'm never far from the truth. 2? Hatchet's password. Oh, it is 2. Here it is. 3, 4, 9, 6, 2. Et voilà. Eh. Now what happens? Where do we go now? Call your partner? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, la. Call Miss Lock. I believe I have discovered Ratchet's safety deposit box passcode. We're almost there. We're running out of time. Do we have everything? I have the key to the safety deposit box. I have the number of the box. And we have the passcode. I'm on my way. Time to rob a bank. <laughs> time to rob a bank. Wait, hang on. 4962. Sorry oh. to keep you waiting. I haven't heard from Monsieur Wadi. You'll have to reschedule with him. This is quite annoying. I'll have to reschedule. Absolutely. I... I hope I have been of service. You have no idea. Hmm. Oh, she seems happy. Ah, oh, Paolo is here. That was fast. We do this as planned? Yes, I am, Monsieur Ratchet. <laughs> but with the bank's questionable policy, I do not expect anyone to ask. Right. Absolute secrecy regarding their clients. The last Swiss bank of its kind. Hmm. Madame. I still haven't heard from Mr. Wadi. Well, we'll have to make do without him, now that my friend is here. It's his box we want to access. And the clock is ticking. I trust there is no problem. No, no problem at all. May I have your safety deposit box number? Oh. 4346. Oh. He remembers. May I see your key? Do you know your passcode? Yes. Mademoiselle will be able to accompany me. No names, of course. Of course. I'll open the door. Oh, Go down the super stairs. Super secret bank. Will accompany you. Well, okay, let's go. We're actually trying to get into the murderer's safe deposit box. Please leave your personal belongings in this bin and then go through the portal. <gasps> the portal? I'll open it for you. Oh. Okay, don't stare at me like that. A whole new world when you go through the portal. <laughs> oh, this is a, this gives me, you know, the heist show. This gives me that heist vibe. Oh, what was it? Four, three, four, six. Not this one. Four, three, four. Oh no! Oh, here's one. Four, three, four, At six. last, we reach our goal. Hmm. Key. Oh. We need another one. Now I will insert my key, oh. if you allow. Thank you. Okay. Hi, ice. Dang it, what is it? Uh... Dude, I forgot what is it the same? Is it the tree one? Three four nine. Oh okay, okay, it's that one. 
เออเป็นเอสมอนนี่ The box at last I suspect the effort will be worth it this collection of various personal items do you know what they are Detective Luck I do <laughs> Mr Poirot God help me I do souvenirs The trophies serial killers take from their victims to remind them of their kills. Ratchet wasn't just a kidnapper. No, indeed, he was oh, a monster. Ratchet was a serial killer. What's this? Another trophy. We may never know how many people he killed. These are all trophies from the people he killed. You know what? Uh, the the person who got murdered is this guy, the one on the left. But apparently, he is a serial killer. But we still gotta find out who killed him. The one on the left, Ratchet. Whoever he is with, their friendship seems over. The build, the hair. It could be Noah, his partner in Daisy's kidnapping. It appears they had a falling out. For every soul Ratchet claimed, even more are suffering. Hey, Pina. We're solving crime. Ooh. Diamonds. A fortune. Crime does pay. No, my oh, but he's dead This though. time it was the criminal who finally paid. What's this? Kitten wagon. I wonder wagon? who this keychain belonged to. Certainly not Ratchet. Fuck it, the diamond. No one will know. <laughs> I wonder who this keychain belonged to. Certainly not Ratchet. Damn. Money. He knew the serial numbers on the banknotes could be traced. Mm. The rest of the Armstrong ransom money. The serial numbers match. What's this? Another bracelet. Another victim. Another trophy. And then there's the one that we already found. Suzanne's red glasses. Mm -hmm. MC, the real journalist Michael Clark. Ratchet would have needed to kill him to assume his identity. He took this ring as his trophy. Is it not to kill me? Oh. One, two, three, four. Six. At least six. Another victim. S this is seven. Another trophy. This is A eight. Woman. We may never know her name. You were lucky, Mademoiselle, when you met him at that cabin in the forest alone. How many victims do you think Ratchet had? Too many. Four Wait, didn't he years have a of pickup? Investigation. It's all over. I finally have the last piece of evidence that Ratchet was Daisy's kidnapper and murderer. More than that, you have helped unmask a serial killer responsible for so many deaths. But even with all this, we're no closer to solving Ratchet's murder. On the contrary, Mademoiselle, everything, it is coming together. Don't you agree, detective? What? Oh. The damaged photograph. It could be Noah. Who's that? It could be Noah. You think Noah killed Ratchet for revenge? The train. What about the train? I know how a killer could vanish without leaving a trace in the snow. Wings? No, they just Camouflage. never left. Camouflage. The oh. trophies. Poirot, we have a train to catch. Oh, Not yeah, we gotta get back to the train. train. Block. We have a murderer to catch. Oh. Time to rob a bank. 
But does he know who it is now? <gasps> We're back on the train. Oh, there's Mori, he's the cook. And Poucher. Oh, all the people around there. Plot twist is actually him who did it. He's just trying to frame somebody else. Quaho, enough! You have kept us in suspense ever since we left Lausanne. Forgive me, my friend. Detective Locke and I needed the time to put the last pieces of the puzzle in their proper places. I'll fill in where I can, but this is Mr. Poirot's show. I confess I can't help, but I feel a certain déjà vu. You are correct, Doctor. We have been here before. However, without mm. you, we wouldn't have been able to reach the true conclusion of this story. My yeah. friends, your attention, please. I hope you have finished your dessert. You have every right to think the solution to the murder of Ratchet is a closed book. You are wrong. I, Poirot, admit that I was wrong. There is a final I, chapter. I don't know where Slow is in. Oh, wait. What a bloody hell. What does he mean? What Perhaps does he if mean? we are silent, Monsieur Poirot will explain. Most of us naturally expect a journey by train to proceed in an orderly fashion from station to station. But mm -hmm. this journey has gone off the rails. A comfortable journey which should have been restful, turned out to be quite a challenge for my little gray cells. Mm. I beg your indulgence. I know it will be painful, but I must update you on the strange turn the ratchet murder investigation has taken. I had two hypotheses, as you recall. A stranger boarded the train in Vinkovsky, killed ratchet, and then exited the train unobserved. Mm -hmm. That was the first possibility. The second solution gave us 12 jurors who condemned Ratchet to death for the kidnapping and murder of Daisy Armstrong. My friend, Book, properly chose the first solution for the authorities. However, thanks to Dr. Constantine here, a 13th stab wound was discovered throwing that solution into disarray. Moreover, the words of a witness called into question the chronology of the night of the murder upon which the first two solutions were based. Detective Locke? Which witness threw doubt upon the timeline of the night of the murder? Michael admitted to having been absent several times during the night. His absence, mm -hmm. therefore, gave multiple opportunities for a 13th murderer to slip into Ratchet's room before the other 12 jurors lined up to stab him. You are saying the man Ratchet was... was... when we... Yes. You executed a man who was already dead. But there were mm. other suspects that night. Other suspects? Oh. Who? They stand before you. Mr. Fauché, Mr. Maury, and Ms. Nielsen. And they all also had a hole in their stories about their movements that night. Mr. Poirot? Most of you don't know it, but there was a second murder in Venice. Mein Gott, another murder. The victim was a man named Aziz Wadi a banker in Geneva who was on the payroll of Ratchet. He looked after the money Ratchet obtained from the Armstrong ransom. Ratchet needed money and arranged to meet Mr. Wadi in Venice. One of these three knew about that money. Now, each of them had an alibi of a sort. But if any of their alibis was a lie, that person had time to murder Monsieur Wadi. Monsieur Fauché, Mademoiselle Nielsen, and Monsieur Maury. 
One of you murdered Ratchet and Monsieur Wadi. Are you kidding? I pour drinks for our guests. I don't murder them. It's nonsense. You are accusing me because of my knives? But why would one of my employees kill Ratchet? Is this is death the motive of the 13 month? Probably not. Maybe so. Maybe it's one of the other persons. The death. killer's motive for killing Ratchet was revenge, but not for Daisy's death. The motive for Aziz Wadi's murder was also revenge. Mr. Wadi was helping Ratchet. Ratchet had an accomplice in the kidnapping named Noah. They mm. kidnapped Daisy together. Ratchet stored the ransom money in a Swiss bank that protected anonymous clients. He forced Monsieur Wadi to watch over the money. Once enough time had passed, Ratchet felt it was safe to have Monsieur Wadi bring him cash whenever Ratchet needed it. The serial numbers of the bills would still be in a file, but no one would be actively checking it. Precisely. But Ratchet didn't just keep the ransom in his safety deposit box. There was something much worse. Trophies. Trophies. There was something much worse than Daisy's ransom money in that safety deposit box. During her investigation, Detective Locke found evidence proving that Ratchet was what is known as a trophy killer. He kept souvenirs of his crimes. We found trophies in the safety deposit box. There were others in a cabin Ratchet used in the Berkshire Mountains, including a beloved toy of little daisies. If I'd have known that, I would have cut the bastard's head off. Hmm. Associate two objects who, whose link would be the motive for Ratchet's murder? Uh, this one? Because he pointed this out earlier. This doesn't look like a lady. Which one of these things? It's like Noah's. This one? No, 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 not good. Oh. That was easy. That was easy. The bracelet found in the safety deposit box was also on Noah's wrist in a photograph. It's obvious. Oh. Ratchet killed Noah. And <laughs> therefore, yeah. at last, I can tell you with absolute certainty who the murderer of Ratchet and Monsieur Wadi is. She's wearing a bracelet. Is it her? Show me your hands, sir. I think it's her. She's also kind of sus. What's that? No, this doesn't oh. have. The bracelet? Mademoiselle Nielsen has the oh. same bracelet as the one found in the safety deposit box in Geneva. A trophy from a victim of Ratchet, Noah. Having a similar bracelet doesn't prove anything. Yes, that might be true, if there were not an inscription <laughs> on it. Mr. Poirot, you're right. The bracelet looks similar to mine, but I have no idea what the marks on it mean. I just like the design. The marks are not random, mademoiselle. These are special bracelets. They are called what? Morse code bracelets. Because, well, you know why. The marks are Morse code. Happily, I learned Morse when I was a young man doing my service for the Belgian army. Oh. Oh, uh... Inspect. Start from here. Dot dot dash dot. 
the dash dot dot ah dot dash dot one dot oh okay she lines dot oh. dot dash oh Freya oh isn't that her name I think that's your name. That's the right answer. Oh. On the bracelet found in Ratchet's safety deposit box was the name Freya in Morse code. Ah. Your first name. It belonged it to your father. It is her father, first name. <gasps> Noah. Noah Nielsen. Let's stop playing this She's game. She's Noah's Nielsen. daughter? What does yours say? Noah? It says father. Oh, she's admitting. Bastard. Confession time. I kept my father's bracelet as a, as a trophy. Thank you. Mm. I have to admit your timing for Ratchet's murder was perfect. Do you mind if I continue? Would it matter? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You've earned the right to crow. I do not make bird sounds, mademoiselle. <laughs> I take no pleasure in this. You drugged Ratchet's dessert to ensure he would be unconscious when you went to his room. Mm. You stole a knife from Monsieur Mori. If it was identified as the murder weapon, he would be accused. You mm -hmm. knew Pierre Michel would leave the train for a smoke whenever it was stopped at the station. At Vinkovsky, you waited until he was on the station platform. Then, you carefully made your way along the first-class corridor to Ratchet's room. You entered Ratchet's room with the pass key, accessible to all employees in the crew quarters. You stabbed Ratchet at midnight. But that knife, where is it? Probably thrown out of Ratchet's window before the train left the station. A thorough search after the snow melts should turn it up. Oh, dang. My beautiful knife. Oh, that's what he's worried about. His <laughs> knife. Then, you carefully return to the crew quarters, replaced the pass key, and return to your poker game. Et voila. The affair was not so complicated in the end. But what made the crime seem more complex? What's the other 12 people? Well, it was us. Mm. Exactly. The 12 jurors who proceeded <gasps> So to he was already dead when they stabbed him. Damn. Plan, literally in the dark without realizing that the man was already dead. Speaking mm. only for myself, well, no of course. Way. But I believe we would have invited you to join us. Ms. Nielsen, <laughs> you killed Ratchet because he killed your father. Your motive is crystal clear. But why did you oh, kill yeah. Aziz? Oh, because he's a an accomplice. Oh, she's It's angry. because of Aziz that my father died. My father knew Aziz was the only one with access to Ratchet's safe, so he convinced Aziz to steal the money from the safety deposit box. But Aziz was too afraid of Ratchet. Instead, he betrayed my father by reporting him to Ratchet. Obviously, Ratchet then murdered my father. Aziz was just as guilty of my father's death as Ratchet. Ratchet Wait, was but your father kidnapped the girl. Humanity. What the heck? But Monsieur Wadi, if you knew his story. My father is dead because of him. I your father was also a criminal. You, Mademoiselle. He had done nothing to justify his death. I do not see any extenuating circumstances that should allow you to escape justice. You will be arrested at the Gare de Lyon when we arrive in Paris. Judge and jury are you, Monsieur Poirot. And you get away with it. It must be nice. But think of this. I know what you did. What you all <gasps> did. Oh, right. dang. She could turn us all in. Relax. Hector, is it? Your secret is safe with me. I'm not going to jail. Oh, Farewell, there are Paolo. cows outside Enjoy in the snow. Your victory. Oh, damn, she Stop. looks evil there. Oh, 
Catcher! Catcher detected. Oh. What? She gonna jump out? Don't, Freya, don't jump. You're going to die. I've made my choice. We'll let fate decide. No! Really? Oh, she just jumped out. <gasps> she just jumped out. Plot twist. She murders everybody on the train. <gasps> well... She jumped... off the train. Even if she hit the water, considering the height... I doubt she survived. And with this tunnel, either way, she's gone, Poirot. Huh. So did she die? <gasps> They're gonna send somebody back? A leap of faith, to be sure. Oh damn! Well, we found the murderer. Did the murderer get away? No. I still can't believe what happened. Thirteen people took revenge on the same person. This investigation <clears throat> is so incredible. It almost looks like a detective story. It would surely yep, be the murderer a bestseller. Got murdered. It is true that this case will remain as one of the most important investigations of my career. My only regret will be that I couldn't bring Ratchet to justice, but I can finally close this chapter of my life. Your determination paid off. You can be proud of yourself. I think we'll be arriving in Paris soon. If you will pardon me, Detective Locke, I have to settle a few details with Monsieur Book before we arrive. Please, go ahead. So when that the person when Ratchet got murdered on the on the train, we didn't know who he was, but we found out that he's actually a serial murderer. Ratchet was a serial murderer. And then all these people, almost all the people on the train, were related to the girl that got murdered by Ratchet. That's cray cray. I still can't believe Freya was the killer. She never even cheated when we played poker. <laughs> she used too much. No, Noah's dead. Nonsense. Her deserts were divine. Noah's dead. Unfortunately, <laughs> her actions were not so divine. There you are, my friend. Ook, I have a favor to ask. Anything. When we arrive in Paris, will you speak to the police? I would rather keep a low profile. But why? Book, my first solution was incorrect. Nonsense. The naughtier the mystery became, the Not greater here. your brilliance. Please. Very well, if you insist. I want to thank you gentlemen for your service. The cuisine. Under difficult conditions, you surpass the reputation of the Orient Express. That is true. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you again abroad, Monsieur Poirot. I promise, not all of our trips are this eventful. Princess Dragomirov would like a word with you, Monsieur Poirot. Oh. It is important. She is waiting for you in her compartment. When a princess summons me, how can I refuse? <laughs> okay. Oh, these two. Ah, Mademoiselle Debenham and Captain Arbuthnot. Allow me to congratulate you on your upcoming nuptials. I hope you won't be too disappointed if you're not invited. <laughs> Archie, really. Thanks to Mr. Poirot, there will actually be a wedding. As you say, my darling. Sorry, old man. And thanks for everything, <laughs> including finding my train ticket. I don't know. I wonder if this was one of the books written by Agatha Christie. Like, the whether they use the actual names in the books. Because I don't think I read the, this, this Count book. Count Andreni, how is the Countess? Much better now that it's all over. I misjudged you, Poirot. And mm -hmm. I you? There is something else about my wife you should know. Why I am so overprotective. She is pregnant. 
You are quite the detective. <laughs> Actually, Dr. Constantine told me. She admitted as much when he was attending to her. If it's a girl, we are going to name her Daisy. If it's a boy, Hercule, he'll be stuck with <laughs> Rudolph. It's a family tradition. I wish you and it's all so of your conceited. family much happiness. Look you, Thank you, Thanks for the learn. Wait, I forgot. What's her room? Is it up ahead? That's my room. <laughs> Patient confidentiality. Is it this? Oh, this one. Hello. Oh, they're all here. Hmm. My daughter, my great friend, and I wanted to talk to you one last time. I speak on behalf of the entire Armstrong family, as well as those close to us. You have shown compassion. We know your reputation, and we understand that your choice was not easy for you. We are all the more grateful. Thank you. Congratulations, my dear. You managed to say the word, thank you, although you did manage to put us through quite a lot. You have given us all closure and some peace of mind. You should know that I regret nothing. If this Freya Nielsen person had not been involved, I would have done it again. Someone told me the Stalinists were frightened of you. I believe them. The country of my birth breeds its share of brutes and bullies but also some of the greatest intellectual and artistic minds the world has ever known. I pray that one day we will again be remembered for that. I share your hope, princess. And of course, with the real murderer of that man out there somewhere, we are no longer guilty of much. Correct? Princess, <laughs> don't push your luck too far. If you'll excuse me, I have some packing to do. Ladies? Plot twist, they stab him that dead. Well, because we found who the actual murderer is, these, those ladies are not, they're not guilty anymore. Right? Even though they did stab him? Pack my suitcase. They stabbed a dead person. At the end of this investigation, I still have my doubts. Did oh? I make the right choice with the 12 self-proclaimed jurors? Hmm. I think so, yes. Yes, it was the right thing to do. You don't want them to stab you while you're on here. As for Mademoiselle Nielsen, what would I have done if she had not escaped? If she had an escape, would I have had her arrested? <sighs> no, because her father... No. Is it justice yes. to let the Twelve go free but have Mademoiselle Nielsen arrested? A vast question indeed. I feel like because her father was an accomplice to the kidnapping and murder of the of Daisy, the little girl... Judges! Often she, take mm. motive into consideration when deciding the sentence for a Yeah, crime. Aziz didn't have to be you killed. You are not a judge. Your job is to establish the facts, which you have done. The case has been solved. Another already awaits you. It is the reason you were on this train. It is time. Time to move on. Yeah, it, it's true. It's still conspiracy to cut commit a murder though but like because they were very upset that he murdered a little girl a three-year-old girl but i don't know i can see why he would be kinder to those 12 because of the little girl the mademoiselle nielsen was getting revenge by committing murder she, she was getting revenge on a murderer because her father was a murderer and kidnapper. So I don't know, it's, it's like less, less, uh, forgive it, forgivable, I guess. Yes. Oh. 
Do I talk I to them? I hope you will travel with us again, Monsieur Poirot. Monsieur Poirot, I spoke with my associates. I convinced them to give you a deal on our new Firenze <laughs> SUV. No need to thank. It's the least I could do. That is very <laughs> generous, but no. I do not drive. You don't? What? But it's electric. <laughs> it's good for the planet. I am good for the planet. As long as I That's don't me. drive. I am good for the planet as long as I don't drive too. I don't understand. He refused. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Have you lost something? May I help you? Oh, Mr. Poirot, you have done so much already. What is it you have lost? My friends. We are traveling to Poland to help with children. We were to meet at an information booth. But where do I get information on how to find an information booth? There is, I believe, an information booth just inside the main terminal. Oh, thank you, sir. You are a great detective. Really? And you, madame, are a good You could have sold it for money, that's right. He could have taken it and just sold it. I will miss this train. Yeah, Hello. it is common sense. Hey, have you seen a scruffy little guy in a green trench coat? I cannot say I have. Why? He's my next case. Another case? That was indeed fast. A detective's gotta eat. You know what I mean. I have some idea, yes. Suspected embezzler. Traveling east, but not on the Orient Express. Say, you wouldn't be interested in teaming up, would you? Some good money in it. I have had enough of trains for a while. Thank you. Okay, suit yourself. You might. Mr. Plum, Mr. McQueen here thinks he may know an attorney in the Berkshires who might need a gentleman's gentleman. He's old school English. I think the clock stopped for him in 1934. I hope it works That's out for you, Monsieur Masterman. What about you, Monsieur McQueen? Well, back to law school for me, following my father's footsteps. We can take the train to St. Pancreas, then the Piccadilly line to Heathrow, and check out some flights. Might as well. We're already packed. I wish you both bonne chance. Bonne chance. Eh? Oh, wrong way. <laughs> The way. There's a book. Ah, Poirot. Mission accomplished. I have reported to the police that Freya needs to kill Hatchet and that she escaped. They're issuing an international arrest warrant. There's oh, a canal damn. that runs alongside the tracks where she jumped from the train. But oh. they say there's little chance she survived. So the she could be alive? Question all of the passengers and crew. So for now, they are free to leave. I gave them the results of my preliminary autopsy and they are reports from the Venetian authorities. They were arguing about jurisdiction when I left. Thank you, Doctor. You have been of inestimable help. A fascinating case. I'm pleased oh, I could assist Oh, personal attendant, I see. Oh. Mr. Poirot, it seems our paths part here. It was an honor and a pleasure to work with you. And I am with you, Detective Locke. The case would have been impossible without your tenacity and dedication to finding the truth. You also proved to be an able con artist in Geneva. You too. <laughs> Thank you Aww. for everything. I'll never forget you. And I shall always treasure our collaboration. <laughs> That's a little ox. Well, that's that. I'm hungry. Let's <laughs> go to the Vagot Rouge restaurant. 
They make an excellent leg of lamb. But I'm it's hungry only too. 34 p.m. Is food all you really think about, my friend? I'm the one inviting you. You've well deserved it. <laughs> I'm warning you, I'm not going to obtain for you a secret recipe this time. Poirot. They make a chocolate mousse that is so creamy. It must have a secret ingredient in it. The last <laughs> recipe came from a murderer. But it was sublime. Sublime. I lost an employee and he's like, I'm hungry. They said she might be alive. That was at the end for real. It's like Italian based souls game. And they have an eight hour Oh It's like a Marvel movie. Dear Poirot, I didn't really have time to say goodbye when we parted. She's alive! I thought I had beaten the greatest detective in the world. But you unmasked me. I still had my revenge, though. I even managed to help myself to a small amount of cash from Wadi's bag before you interrupted me in Venice. It will be enough to settle somewhere in a quiet little town where I will create delicacies for appreciative clients. You won't hear from me again, nor will Booth get any more of my recipes. Oh, and one last thing. You may not think so. But I truly believe Ratchet and Wadi got their just desserts. Regards, F. You, mademoiselle, are entirely too pleased with yourself. You give clues no one could follow. Unless they are Hercule Poirot. Is there gonna be another one and he's gonna find her? Oh my gosh. DLC? Oh, that was it. DLC maybe? This came out last year, like late last year. Maybe they'll do a DLC of him trying to find her, Freya. Oh, 